Setting up your workshop space is really important and can be difficult depending on what kind of space you have. I've been doing it now for about 15 years in a lot of different locations, so I feel like I've really got this down. Um, I'm going to share with you a couple of my top tips and tricks on how to best utilise your space. So having natural light is always an advantage in your space if that's a possibility for you. We really like to have natural light because when you're choosing out your materials, you want to be able to see the true colours of the leathers or whatever material you're using. Ventilation is really important for your workshop space because you'll be using some toxic glues from time to time. So a window or an extractor fan is an essential for your space. Having a nice big table is another luxury for some, but really makes such a big difference. You'll need to be rolling out your leathers, drawing your patterns, and honestly, the bigger the table, the better. You'll end up spreading yourself out as much space as you have, basically. So a nice big table, preferably that's flat, is going to be um, good for you. When you've got a tabletop that has ridges in it, it can be a bit difficult with tracing patterns and things like that. Storing small components in organizers and clever storage solutions uh, has completely changed the game for me and I'm sure it will for you as well. Just being able to access something really quickly means that it makes the whole shoemaking process just faster and easier. Even um, having a designated space for your sewing machines can just make the whole process faster rather than having to unpack and repack everything up all the time. Storing your lasts can be tricky and this is going to depend completely on how much space you have. I keep mine on a shelf so that I can see them all in front of me um, but it kind of depends how many lasts you have. I have um, in women's, I have a high, a mid, and a flat, and then I have those in a full range of sizes, and then I'll have a few odd pairs that may be a pointy toe or square toe or sneaker last. So I like to try and keep them all neatly in rows on shelves. But at home, if you don't really have space for that, you might just want to find a way that you can keep the pairs together and label them easily so that when you go to find the last you want, you can access it quickly. My number one tip is keep your space tidy. It's so, so difficult to do a good job when there is mess all around you. If you ever find yourself stressing out or making mistakes, just stop what you're doing and tidy your space. Storing leather can be done in so many different ways. In fact, I actually do it in a few different ways. I mostly hang all my smaller pieces so that I can see them nice and neatly. And then I also have little baskets where I have bigger leather hides rolled up. And then I also have more little baskets for all of the off cuts because you end up with a lot of pieces which are too small to make a whole pair of shoes out of but big enough to use for embellishments or covering insoles or heels so you really need to make sure that you're storing all these pieces and getting the most out of your materials. Making your space inspiring and comfortable is obviously a luxury for some. For some of you, you are going to be using your kitchen table and that's going to become your workshop space which is great. Hopefully that should already be a nice inspiring space for you. For others of you, um, you might have your own whole room, which you're going to be using for your shoemaking workshop. I like to put up pictures and have some plants around and just make it feel comfortable because you do sort of end up spending many hours in your shoemaking space. So you really want to make sure that you feel comfortable in there and that you're inspired to do beautiful work. 